What's good YouTube? In this video, we're going to be talking about my settings. Now, this was a video that was highly requested and a lot of you guys wanted to know what were my settings. So, here we're going to uh, we're going to show it. But first, I wanted to say thank you for the amount of support that has been going on with this channel. Uh, you guys have been showing a lot of love lately. Y'all have been showing a lot of love. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you real quick in the beginning of this video. 500 subscribers was for sure one of my goals to hit and we ended up hitting at the moment of recording this video I am at 520 subscribers and this is recorded on a Saturday when I post this video up it's gonna be on a Monday so the subscribers could be going up but I just want to say thank you for that it means a lot not only that I see the amount of comments that have been going on through my videos and this is so crazy on the amount of support you guys have been showing it truly means a lot but yeah this right here we're gonna go over the settings on this video this is the settings video. So to start off with right here, we have the interact, that, that's like compact, the button hints, I have that off, the crosshair damage feedback we have at X with shield icon. I know people either use this or they will turn it off. I recommend using this one. The damage numbers I have at both, ping opacity is at default, obituaries that on. Now the mini map rotation, I recommend putting this on on I think at default it starts it off for the longest time I did not know when you look on the map it never moved like your icon on the mini map until you turn this on so I didn't know this was actual setting in the game I, yeah I found out very late in the game and I highly recommend turning mini map rotation on on the weapon auto cycle on empty I have it off and my auto sprint I have off this one right here I have had it on on before I had it on on for about a month but the reason being was because my controller was messed up I do have experience with both of these I personally recommend having this turned off especially if you're someone who uses a shotgun because when this is on it definitely will mess up your shot because you can easily have your gun pointed down and not up just because you have this on you might accidentally sprint this is also the reason why i have it on off double tap sprint off jetpack controls on hold uh damage feedbacks on 3d this one right here taking damage close death box or crafting menu i have that off i think some people have it on some people have it off I have it on off because it helps with shield swaps, um, hop up on streamer and anonymous mode. I have on on or streamer mode all, anonymous mode enabled. The reason why I have these are because so streamer mode, when you have this on all, you see the legends that are on the kill feed on the top right hand corner. You do not see the person's name, which I think is good because what's the whole point of seeing somebody's name in the kill feed? I'd rather see what legend they're using because of an instance like let's say they're using a Kraber, right? Let's say a Kraber's on the field. And if you see on the top kill feed, uh, someone uses a Kraber, let's say like a Wraith uses a Kraber, you're allowed to, you can tell your teammates that there's a Kraber on the field and it's a rate and I think that's the most beneficial thing to have on your settings because you could just tell your teammates who's using what gun like which legends using what gun I recommend having this on all I've been having this on all since season 7 season 7 season 8 so it's been a while and in non mode I have on enabled because it's kind of frustrating when you die to someone like let's say on your friend list and then they start spam messaging you so that one I have enabled so that they can't see who who they killed which is me uses sharing I have on disabled um, performance display I have on on this is where you can see your frames on top right hand corner and like your ping and stuff like that to see if you're lagging so I do prefer to have this on um, the biggest thing right here is also the colorblind colorblind mode i have experimented with trinopia and the off i personally recommend trinopia subtitles are off and yeah all this is really nothing so now what mainly what i'm assuming mainly you guys wanted to see um the button layout i have on button puncher this means that it's B to melee and crouches on right stick. Stick layout is default, interact and reload, tap to use and reload. Now my crouch may be a little different, I think, compared to others. I have crouch on hold. I do use paddles. I use four paddles, so that's the reason why I have it on hold, because I use paddles. If I was not using paddles, I would for sure have it on toggle. Um, my aim button is of course hold. Survival slot is on hold, I mean, not hold, uh, on on. 
trigger dead zone is on none. My menu cursor speed is about like what 30%. My sensitivity and sensitivity ADS is on 404. I feel like that's the most comfortable with me. I feel like a lot of people will for sure look at setting videos for this ex specifically. And this is just you know personal for uh, personal preference. Choose and practice with this. You know this definitely changes from time to time. Uh, my per optic settings is on on. Uh, four, I use four for one, two, and three sites, and four, six, eight, and ten sites I use on five. Now my response curves on steady, my look dead zones on none, movement, inverted look, and vibration are on. Oh well, movement dead zones on small, and inverted look is on off. Vibration is off. Vibration I have off. I think this is key for you guys to understand that. The reason why I have this on off is because you don't want to get your shot uh, messed up. You, I don't want the vibration to mess up my shot. So that's the reason why I have it on off. I've been having it on off since like back in the Call of Duty days, you know, years ago. So I've always just been used to this. Advanced look controls I have on off. Brightness is, uh, what would you say, like 85%. So my brightness is pretty high. My field of view is at 110. This right here, I, if you don't like 110, I would recommend anywhere from 100 to 110. Um, the higher the field of view is, the more you can see your angles or your sides. The lower the field of view is, the more you can focus in on your enemies. So that does improve your aim and your shooting in my opinion. But for me, I have it on 110. My field of view ability scaling is at enabled, sprint view shake, minimal. And the volume doesn't really matter, it's personal preference, but 61 for master sound effects, 100, dialogue, 61, and I turn off the music. The music, I could, yeah, I could really care less about that. But yeah, this was the settings video. If you're not subscribed, and if this is your first time watching the video, or one of my videos, I wanted to say that this channel is based upon content for, you know, helping those become, you know, a better Apex player, just in general, you know, I put out a lot of legend guides, map guides, uh, tips, also, you know, how to dominate a lot of maps. And if you if you don't know, obviously, if you haven't looked at this channel, I mainly do Apex Arena. Um, just in general, this is really a channel that's going to help you for just Apex in general. Also, in the video, I didn't talk about my controller. Uh, I mentioned it in the settings, but I do have paddles, and the controller I use is a Fusion controller. Um, my paddles are for... I use all four paddles, and the top left paddle is for crouching. My bottom left paddle is for the interact. So this is for things like picking up items on the floor, opening and closing doors, reloading, um, opening up death boxes, going on zip lines. So for Xbox, this is the X button. And for PlayStation, this is the square button. Now my top right paddle is for jumping and my bottom right paddle is for the grenade. That was like, that slot was like, you know, I could put anything in there kind of, but I wanted to put grenades in there because I've always wanted to Make sure I get used to throwing as many grenades as possible. So that is the reason why I have all those four paddles. And yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, I appreciate y'all for the support, for liking the video, commenting, and the subscribing. Uh, truly means a lot. And if you ever have any video suggestions that you would like for me to put out, uh, definitely comment it down in the comment section. We'll see if we can get something done with that video suggestion or if I could put it in some sort of way. Yeah, just let me know Let me know what you guys think of this video. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one.